Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to uh, determine whether another set with two operations is a vector space or not. So the set is just R2, the set of ordered pairs of real numbers. Scalar multiplication is defined in the usual way that scalar multiplication of ordered pairs is defined. We just, to multiply an ordered pair by a scalar, you just multiply each component by that scalar. But look at how we're defining our vector addition. When we add two ordered pairs together, instead of adding the corresponding components, we're going to multiply them. So what we have to do is go through all 10 axioms, uh, or try to verify all 10 axioms. If we can verify that all 10 axioms hold for this set, R2 set of ordered pairs with these two operations, then we've proven that it's a vector space. If we can find one axiom that does not hold for this set with these operations, then we've proven it's not a vector space. So let's get started. So the first one, the first axiom is closure under addition. So when we add two vectors in this new way, two ordered pairs in this new way, do we get another ordered pair in R2? So let's see. When we add these two ordered pairs together, according to this new addition uh, operation, we just multiply the corresponding components. And since the components were, are, were real numbers, when we multiply them, x1 times x2 is a real number, and y1 times y2 is a real number. So this is an ordered pair. This is a, a vector in R2. So yes, we're um, the, the set is closed under this addition operation. Good. All right, so the second axiom is commutativity of this new addition operation. And it's fairly intuitive. If we multiply corresponding components, we can use the commutativity property of real number multiplication and rewrite those products in the reverse order and then rewrite the sum in the reverse order. So yes, this addition is commutative. All right, let's move on to the third axiom. The third axiom is associativity of addition. So if, if we add the two vectors v plus w and then add the third vector u, is that the same as first adding u and v and then adding w? So we have to write it out. So here are the, the three vectors. I'm going to add x2, y2 plus x3, y3 first and then add x1, y1 to that. So I get x1, y1 plus the vector x2, x3, y2, y3. And when I do that, according to my new addition operation, I get this ordered pair. And I can separate it out into this ordered pair plus the ordered pair x3, y3. And then the first ordered pair is the sum of x1, y1, and x2, y2. So I've just shown that the, the new addition operation is, in fact, associative. So the third axiom holds. Let's move on to the fourth axiom. The fourth axiom says that the, the set has to contain a zero vector and it has to behave like a zero. It has to be an additive identity. So um, we can't use the usual ordered pair zero, zero in R2. That's the usual additive identity. Our addition operation is different. So it turns out that the zero vector in this set is really the ordered pair one, one. And that's because if we add it to any arbitrary ordered pair under this new addition operation, we're really multiplying the components, right? So we get 
the original ordered pair that we started with, and it doesn't matter which order. So we have to show that it works both ways, and it does. So the, the ordered pair, one, one, is actually the zero vector in this weird vector space. Okay, so let's move on to the fifth axiom. So the fifth axiom says that for every vector in this set, for every ordered pair in R2, there's another ordered pair that we call negative u, um, such that when we add those two things together, u plus its additive inverse, we'll get the zero vector. And remember, the zero vector in this particular set, the zero vector is 1, 1. So clearly, um, if we look at an ordered pair where the two components are both non-zero, then it's easy to see that under this weird addition, the additive inverse is the ordered pair of just the reciprocals because if I add x1, y1 to the ordered pair 1 over x1, 1 over y1, and I multiply the um, corresponding components, I do get the zero vector. So as long as my components are both non-zero, we do have an additive inverse. So the additive inverse of x1, y1 turns out to be the ordered pair of reciprocals. However, the ordered pair 0, 0 is definitely in R2. So this axiom says for every vector u in V, there has to be an additive inverse. But under this weird addition operation, 0, 0 does not have an additive inverse because there's no um, other real number that we can multiply zero by and, and uh, get one, right? We can't get the zero vector, which is one, one, by multiplying zero, zero by another uh, pair of, or, of real numbers. All right, so this shows that it's not true that every vector in R2 has an additive inverse under this weird addition operation. So we have to conclude, since axiom 5 fails, that we do not have a vector space, and we don't have to keep going. We don't have to check any more axioms. All right, so that was an example of something that is not a vector space. As long as you can find one of the 10 axioms uh, that fails, and you can prove that it fails, you're done. You've proven that it's not a vector space. All right. I'll see you in the next video.